everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, um, a couple things happened between last episode and this episode. The first thing is, if we go to the mech base real quick, uh, we did a couple of upgrades to some of the mechs. Uh, so, Grand Summoner B, was it you? No, it was not you. Prime? Prime. Uh, yeah, so the Grand Summoner Prime, let's just have a look at this thing for a second here. So this was the one with the uh, the um, hyper laser in it, and we were noticing that it wasn't really that effective at range. Now we did have ER trackers already in it, so I pulled off one of the ER medium lasers to make it a little bit more efficient. Put in the fire control system TC advanced uh, with a plus one energy ballistic to hit. Uh, so hopefully that will make this thing uh, hit a little bit better at range. Um, fingers crossed, not 100% sure. Add a patchwork materials as well uh, to give it a little bit more armor. Um, not much, but we added a little bit more to a half a ton of armor, or almost a well, quarter ton of armor anyway, uh, just to uh, give it a bit more protection. Um, but that's it. So that was, that was the uh, Grand Summoner. And then the Archers. Um, so the Archer 2, I'm not going to go into this guy, but we put the two tons of thunder augmented in this guy, and then the regular Archer Pirate, um, we put a ton and a half of, um, well, we got a ton of thunder incendiary ammo uh, from Minefield, and then we got a half ton of regular thunder ammo in here. Here it is here. Um, just to uh, add some mine, uh, minefields if we can. Um, the extra half a ton I used to put some more armor on it. This is the one that has a little bit lower armor. Uh, not much lower, but a little bit lower. So we added a little bit of armor onto it half a ton, which isn't much, but still uh, enough to do that. So I think that's all we did between episodes, uh, with the exception of one thing. So if we go to engineering real quick, I did manage to get the fourth level of mech control. So now we have all eight mechs controlled by us. So that is awesome. Now, uh, we have enough C-bills. Mm, I'm going to hold off right now. We've got enough to make our financial report in 16 days. I just want to make sure we have enough. So we're going to take a mission today, which could be good or it could be bad. I don't know. It really depends on things here. So let's go to the command center. So the past few missions we've been taking, we haven't got any help from anybody. So I don't know if we're going to get any help on this one. So this should be interesting. So we're going to take the hard target mission. Oh, sorry, not hard target. Uh, where are you? Um, defend base, quiet in the western front. Uh, yeah, against State Falcon. So we're going to take this mission here. Salvage is 313. It's not a half decent, it's a pretty half decent payout. We're going to defend a base in the jungle, see what we can get off Jade Falcon. So let's negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage. I'm hoping we get some good stuff out of this. Hoping for some Nova CEWSs. All right, so let's get the second lance. So the Zeus X definitely coming. Summoner B is definitely coming, and the Archer. So let's put our pilots in here: Hellion, Gundal, and Mastodon, and Workhorse. So our pilots, we gained a little bit of skill. Finally got Tactics Eight on Infiltrator, which is great. Um, Dallas got Tactics Seven, I believe. Uh, Goofy, I believe we put his gunnery up to nine. Uh, Duck got tactics to eight, workhorse gunnery seven. Um, Hellion still having an issue, um, but yeah, no, that's I think that's all we got. We're kind of slowly getting tactics up. Mastodon, I think we took tactics six for the called shot bonus, I believe. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look now. Um, I'm wondering if I should pull Duck off of this guy and let the Archer be run by Workhorse here. Uh, maybe not. He's got Tactics 3. Um, Ultra 10, Mag Shot, Thunderbolt. Uh, this guy might be a better... Laser AMS is already on there. This guy's got the Ultra 5 and the Rack 2. Pair of lasers. Um, we've only got 10 turns of fighting. 
Uh, oh yeah, I did the, add the uh, sensor trackers. We had an additional sensor tracker. I added it onto this guy here um, for long range fighting. I wonder if we should bring this guy in. A, well, you know what? Let's try the MMLs. Let's take this guy. All right, let's do this. Okay, guys, I'm not expecting that this is going to be a very successful mission, but we're going to see how it goes here. Uh, income and incoming hostiles from multiple directions. I have no idea what to expect on this. Looks like we got some guys down here. Are these our guys? Looks like it. All right, got to get the towers. There's our engineers. Well, at least they'll be hard to hit. Yeah, so I think once we get to a certain difficulty level, they stop. We stop getting escorts. All right, so um, seven buildings remain. Three must su survive. So they got a support lance. So they got two lances coming in. Um, okay, we're gonna reserve. Wow, these turrets are like. I've got no strength. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. What do we got here? Hellbringer B? Hellbringer 2B. Sniper artillery, eh? Uh, okay, we need to engage. Because if we don't engage, they're going to shoot for the buildings. Only got one guy in sight. Really bad chances to hit, but we're going to take them, leave the barrage off, and just fire. Okay. You're calling for the wrath of that friggin' uh, sniper artillery, but not much we can really do about it. So we still don't have the battle computer in play, which is giving us uh, some initiative issues. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. On a mission like this, it might be a good thing, because then they'll all move and then we can move and hit them, but they could just move in and smash these buildings and then we'll be in big trouble. Okay. I don't know where for they're all coming from. Uh, yes, Commander. Figures we got our missile mechs up next. Stay away from those buildings, please. Get up here. Still the only guy we can see, I guess, eh? Uh, switching these out to Artemis. 40%, not bad. Taking it and firing. On you. Please get away from the buildings. AOE weapons are going to wreak havoc on those buildings. So if we get some good, if we get an assault mech in here, definitely going to switch to thunder. Firing a full salvo. I want to see if we can get something good out of this. Hoping for a good omni mech, that way we can pull out one of our uh, 65 tonners. Alright, you got your risks, eh? Not the best place to be, but we're going to move here. This guy's got some thunder ammo as well. But we ain't using that. Uh, dead fire. 10%, huh? 14% with risk SRM. Let's take the risk. Let's use the risk. We need the tag barrage off, though. Wow, this guy's really heating up. 
Let's go this route. I like the idea of the MMLs using the dead fire ammo um, with their increased missile range because they can put out some nice damage. I think maybe they're just on the wrong mech though. That guy's going on 17, man. Awaiting order. What I want to know is why Infiltrator is going on 15. Maybe he reserved with Hellion. Good possibility. Uh, wow. How's he doing here? Let's hammer him. See what we can get on him. We get the tag on? Doesn't look like it. Is that that Nidhog? No, he's already gone, right? Oh, it's the enemy turn. I want to know where they're... where they are. Oh, there we go. That's a lot of AMS is shooting. 24 from 24 hit. <laughs> Thank you guys. That's a lot of AMS, man. Let's see what else we can see over here. Anything? I'm going to dial this back to one. I don't know what we're going to be up against later on. Actually, no. Why, why should I bother? We got over... It's only going to be here 10 turns. Leave the tag off for now. And fire. Alright, one of the two hit. Still not unstable though, that guy. What are you doing, dude? Trying to decide what you're going to do? A lot of nothing, huh? Fine by me. We got Hellion and Infiltrator left. Hopefully we can get a sight on that missile carrier. Take that sucker out. And then we can rack up the, uh, the Hellbringer. See what he does. I'm gonna dial it up to eleven and smash that guy. Our turrets, man. I don't know. I hope they really help out. Point defense. So that was what we're shooting. So as long as we stand by that guy, we're good. As long as they don't use AOS on us. Dual gun. Okay. What's this guy? Howitzer. Right, we already knew that. Heavy point defense. Beautiful. We just stand by those guys. <laughs> just don't fire an arrow at us. Alright. Uh, that guy didn't move. You're crazy, buddy. Oh, wait, what? what? Did I see a line on the other guy? Oh, we did, right there. That's my job. Hellbringer. Oof, really? Did we do it? It's not going to be enough to kill, I don't think. That's why we're here. Alright. We had to take the shot at it. We still, we still had the rack in the uh, Streak 20 on that uh, Hellbringer. He just stood there, so he's pretty much dead meat. He just decided to be a target. 
This is kind of fun finally being able to. Ah! Dire Wolf C, huh? Commander. The C is going to be your job in a second, but we got to get rid of this guy first. Leave that off. Uh, let's wind it to four. Worried about jamming on this. Let's just go to four and fire. Okay, we got, we got lucky on that kill. Okay. I'm receiving you. I want this freaking dire wolf. Um I'm hesitant to use the barrage though. He's going on thirteen. 61%. I'm not going to use it. Uh, I'm not going to dial this up either. Or should I? We've got enough guys to shoot at them. So I'm not going to bother. Okay, we hit. Beautiful. Let's get back here. Oh, what do we got down here? Highlander 2C. Really bad chances on the carrier. What if we OP this guy, though? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... He's got to go. Got to move a little bit, see if we can get an evasion token on there. Yes, Commander. What's the chance on this guy? 28%. This guy doesn't have much left, does he? Most likely a PPC left though, so let's see if we can remove him. It's a hell of a lot of criticals. Okay, that's the last guy, Puma. Got the height advantage. I want to keep it. Let's get into here. We can't waste the Ultra 20 on the other guy. We're going to put it on this guy. Let's Warlord this. They're going to be having reinforcements very shortly, so... Okay, workhorse. One of the risks is jammed. Okay, uh... 
Man, you got such a terrible chance to hit. A little better on this guy. That's the SRM though. Dead fire. This is even worse. Oh man. All right, let's go to uh let's go this route. Put the ER medium on, firing. Is that enough for a knockdown? No. Nope. Damn it. Yeah, this Thunderbolt is no good at range. We gotta be closer. I don't want to move down there though, because the issue with moving down there is that we put our we put ourselves out of position when the reinforcements arrive. Okay, what are they doing here? Is that our Nidhogs trying to figure out what they're doing? Maybe I should just <laughs> barrage them, get rid of them. I got a feeling we're really going to need them, though. All right, Hellion. Uh, I'm listening. That Puma is 95 tons, though. Do you think we got enough to kill? We max out the damage? Or should we really be worrying more about the Highlander? Confirmed. Probably the Highlander, eh? Alright. Puma's a little far out of action. We don't have quite as good a chance to hit this guy, but... Um, we're dialed up to six. Let's take it. Yeah. Almost got his stability out of balance here. Who do we have left? Uh, Mastodon and Goofy? It's not going to be enough. Get up here, Nidhogs. Oh, is he running? He is. You have orders? I do. Uh, okay, get up here. Let's multi this. Huh. Really? Let's just leave that off. Well, we got 10 turns of firing. We might as well leave it on. Um, yes. Firing. Oh my god, not enough. God darn it. Should have left it with HE. I gotta stop thinking about conserving ammo like that. That's my bad. We'll see what the damage is like. Maybe we can get Mastodon to multi-target. We can go after this guy. 25 off on the one side. We can get a shot from the front. Yeah. Where are you? Like this. On my way. Throw up a multi. Go after this guy. And this guy. B will take the 20s. 16%, huh? Well, we gotta go with it.
Not enough for a kill, is it? It is enough for a knockdown. Beautiful. Nope, not enough for a kill. That hit something good. Darn it! Let's hope the ATMs or the uh, point defense takes those guys out. They lost all 24 missiles last time, so hopefully they lose them all again this time. I think I'm out of range, though. Nope. Depends on who they're shooting for. Apparently not. 24 from 24. Beautiful. Beautiful. Set stealth bomber. Alright, well, that's where the enemy's going to be showing up from, so you guys stay over there. Trying to figure out what you're gonna do, eh? You know you're gonna fortify, so why bother? So we'll have at least one lance from down there. One lance is being dropped in on the hill. We're gonna shred the hill lance first. And then whatever's left in the bottom down here, we'll just kill. Now I don't know What's going to happen here? Ow. Guy's still going. I don't, what I said, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know where, like how many lances are going to show up. How many missiles did you get? Eight. That ripped up a bunch of armor. Yeah, just chill out. This guy doesn't have much left. He's got a PPC, I think. Maybe an ER medium or something. Or maybe a pair of PPCs. He's not going to do anything, though. He's just going to stand there. Panicking. Still no reinforcements yet. How badly hurt is this guy? Not that bad, but we got we got multi. No, we don't have multi-target capability. So what am I talking about? What am I talking about? What's this guy got? A whole lot of nothing left, but we might be able to pull that leg. Maybe. Let's try it. That's some pretty good chances to hit. Not quite enough. That's probably but one of the only assault mechs I want to like throw into battle right away. That thing's so cool looking. I should just make it like relatively slow. I guess it'll be whatever speed it is. And just load it down with lasers. Lasers and uh and um what's it called? Prototype double heat sinks. Swap it out for the uh heat dissipating armor. The best uh Heat sinks money can buy. God, he's still going. Nope, he's not. Beautiful. Had enough. All right. Commander? See what you can do against this Highlander. Those are pretty damn good chances to hit. And really good against this guy. But I think this guy is the threat, so let's take it. Alright, a little bit of damage. 
Risks are both back. We got to get closer here. Don't really want to move in, but we're going to have to. Going to have to get used to figuring out which is more. LK is 32% either. Oh, it's not bad. So SRM dead fire is still 32%. Yeah, this is not going to work for me. I mean, it is what it is. What is fire? It's not any better than an ATM build. You know what I mean? I guess it's the inner sphere, the inner sphere version of ATMs. Good to go. I mean, we got more launchers for less tonnage, so. Oh, sh sugar digger. They're gonna show up up here. So let's not be like in their way when they show up. Let's get down here. The advantage of knowing the map. All right, let's blast this guy. Reporting critical hit. Commander. What do you think, kid? Not the best location to be in, but I think you're safe back here. No one's pushing their advantage. They don't really have one anyway. All right, let's just fire everything on this guy. See ya, look at that explosion. So awesome. All right, you know what to do. You got a clue, you know what to do. Have a seat. He looks tired. Okay, you got the kick-ass AMS, so let's get into... Here. Protect all our guys up front. Right here, right, here, right now. Let's not even bother moving. Whoops. One last time. Leg. I said leg. Guy, really. Hold out for reinforcements. Eight rounds left. Awaiting order. It's time for Goofy to put the hurt in the dirt. The boulder is conflicted. Let's hammer this guy. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Hey, I messed that. I don't know if you guys ever watched Avatar the Animated Series. Avatar, the one that came out before James Cameron's Avatar. But, uh, so awesome, that series. Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Report me fallback. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> why, why, why do I think we're in a lot of trouble? <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Supernova. Warhammer 2C. There's another guy in here somewhere. A couple of re report me fallbacks. Hopefully the RG takes care of them. They should have five guys here though. Where's the other guy? Right here. 
Shrike, Shrike. Shrike, Shrike 2. Oh my god. It's down here. Look at that heat bar. Zeus... Zeus C? Okay. Oh shoot, this looks like we got a lot of guys here. Wolverine... Marauder 2C, 85 tons. Well, oh, this is going to be so much fun. These guys look like they're full strength too. With the exception of these report me fallbacks, whatever the hell these things are. Like, look at the heat gauge. It doesn't, like, <laughs> the halfway point's not even on the map. Oh, yes, it is the little, okay, the little white dot. Not like we're going to overheat those guys anyway. Stone Rhino! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Well, the series could end here, guys, depending on what those report me fallbacks are. We got eight. We got what? We're on fourth turn now. So we got seven turns to face that stone rhino. Six because he can't see us right now. But we might be able to drop some thunder on his ass. Although I think we may have to drop it here. These guys might not even do anything. I don't know. I don't even think you could have a dropship big enough. Like, what do these things do? Sit on top of the leopard when it was dropping them off? They <laughs> just slide off when they get down to the bottom. When they get down to the ground level, just slide off onto the ground. The leopard just stops really sharply and they just slide off the front and land on the ground. <laughs> Oh my god, this is going to be, uh... Alright. I think they've got a lot of guys. Hold out for reinforcements. So they might only have five down here. It might only be five. Um... Yeah, I don't think we're shooting those guys. Look at the armor on them! Okay, the Shrike, 100 tonner maybe? Energy, missile, ballistic. I think we're losing this fight. We may have to run. Uh, I don't know if those guys are going to fight though. Now nah, we got to res... Did they move already? They did. Let's get over here. Full Maybe those choppers will engage that guy. I don't know. Let's attack the supernova. If we don't shoot at them, maybe they won't shoot at us. Because I think shooting at us would be bad. Well, I guess it's not so bad. Because they're not loaded down with weapons. Let's just attack first and ask questions later. I'm not going to use the barrage on this. We got choppers on our on our side up there, so... Let's see if we can get to a position where they can't really see us, like down here. We got to get these guys up the hill fast. Oh boy. I think we might be able to isolate that stone rhino. Mm. By hitting it with the... Uh, yeah, let's go with everything. By hitting him with the uh, thunder ammo. See ya. Another one for the kill board. Come on.
Come on, you can move there. Why will you not let me click? You will not let me click. Why can I not click down here? Uh, sure. We'll jump down instead, because why not? Okay, we see that stone right out there he is. All right. Um, uh, what's going on here? Okay. Okay, let's get it so they can't see us. Now, this guy. Well, he got 60 thunder rounds. And then thunder incendiaries. Got 120. We're not going to really hit him, but that minefield should apply all around the area, right? And then we'll drop the other one on there, too. Let's just reserve Gundal for now. So we'll drop the... Um, Augmented Thunder Rounds and the Stone Rhino too. Maybe we can keep him out of the battle. Other than these two big automatons up here, that's the only guy I'm really worried about. If we can keep him from moving, we should be good to go. Yeah, me too. Allies turn. All right, Chapa's. Probably the guy down here. He got, goes on 23, I think. Yeah. Really? Not even going to help out, huh? Yes, Commander. Just going to stay down there. Let's get into AMS range. All right, we got a target on this guy here. So let's do it. We got tag and let's go with Haywire. Slow him down a little bit and um, screw up his sensors. I understand. We get it. We got him Haywired. Beautiful. And target acquired. Nice. We can apply uh, Gundal's attack to him next. We're grouped up down here right now, but there's nothing I can do about that. Until I know what these guys are going to do. They may just stand there the whole fight, which is what I hope they do. But if they, did play, if they decide to play Stompy Stompy Robots with us, we're in trouble. Okay. So, Mastodon... Thunder A rounds. You're not turned enough. Let's get into here. It still keeps these guys under AMS AMS coverage. Swooping out. I mean, it's not going to apply that much, but enough. Oh, shoot, we can't get that guy. We can get this guy, though. Um, yeah. Because it will be in range of the Stone Rhino anyway. I think the range of these is like 45 meters. Ready for orders. Okay. 
Those are out of range, hey? Okay, let's get up to here. Because he, this guy has a bit of thunder as well. Okay, we still can't see this guy. Um, switch to LRM. Yeah, thunder augmented. Why don't we have the range? MML is a direct fire only. Well, shoot. That's not good. All right, this guy right here. Don't piss off the other guys. Byron. All right, nice. Okay. That's us for this turn. I feel pretty good about that. We pulled down one mech, damaged another. Hopefully the Zeus and the uh, Stone Rhino are going to be hesitant to move forward. We got a bit more to drop on those guys. We still got our choppers to go. Well, I think our two of these guys went already. I think they're confused about shooting at these guys. Gargoyle. Oh man, really? Gonna piss them off, are you? Whatever works for you. Alright, so gargoyle down here. Marauder 2C. Wolverine. Okay, well. I'm here. <sighs> Getting the trees. Okay, we got Stone Runner on sensors again. Let's get this guy back here. I'm hesitant to use the barrage on this guy because it's going to get all of these guys. Let's turn this up though. Okay, looks like it hit. Beautiful. Phase 25. Okay, they're not moving forward. What's up, boss? You ain't going anywhere, buddy. I'm out of LRM. No, you got lots left. Ready for orders. This guy ain't moving anywhere. Wow, what is up with the chance all of a sudden? What's the chance on this guy? 97? Uh, this gives us, what, six turns left? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, you hit that guy. That was direct line of sight. I guess there's no quick way to pull those report meets down, huh? Okay, looks like he took 20 damage, the Zeus. Is that Stone Rhino going to move? Don't know. We don't really have a way to uh, continuously fire those uh, the augmented ammo against that thing, but we'll see. 
Why are they moving? Commander. It's probably because of the report me's. The only thing I can think of is that. Like they're not even firing back. Report me, report me. Now I'm not on the final build for 171. So that might be an issue, but I don't know. It's stable, so that's why I'm still using it. Um, as of the last time I checked the uh, Discord forums, which is a few days ago, they still haven't got to um, to uh, getting anything going for the new uh, release, so Heavy Metal is still going to be uh, Heavy Metal Rogue Tech is still going to be off the table for a while. Let's uh, just fire on them. I don't think I'm going to shoot back. Okay, what I might do... Um, in the... Uh, in the vein of fairness, what I might do is... Uh, once we finish our turn here, what I might go ahead and do is wait... Like, I'll kill this guy. Um, and then I'm just going to reserve every single turn from now to the end. Because if these guys aren't going to fight, yeah, I, I don't feel right about continuing the fight. Um, and just getting salvaged because they're not doing anything. I mean, these guys were fighting. I don't mind getting salvaged from this, like these few things down here. But if they're not going to fight, um, I'll just sit and wait. And if they do decide to fight, I'll, I'll start recording again. Otherwise, we'll just go to the uh, the end screen. Like, these guys aren't doing anything. If the stone rhino loses its legs, or these guys lose its legs, we'll consider that um, viable salvage. Otherwise, I wish won't take anything. Did they do anything? Yeah. So that's what I'll do. Um, it's the fifth phase. So, I mean, we're going to be... Like, even our guys aren't attacking. I don't know why they're flying back here. Maybe there's more reinforcements coming or something? I don't know. But like I said, I'm going to end this here after this turn. Stop shooting us, damn it. Oh. Is that them shooting us? Who was shooting us? Whose turn was that? Oh, they are firing. It's those big guys that are shooting. Things got real dark there all of a sudden. Oh, Storm Runner's moving. 19, that's it.
All right, maybe we'll keep fighting then. They are shooting. But these guys are running. I mean, I don't know. The big guys aren't moving. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight them. Um, I've decided I'm not gonna fight them. We're gonna. We're gonna pull back. Uh, if they push forward and try to fight us, then I'll. I'll. I'll come. This guy's running. Um, if they push forward, great. If they don't, then I'm just gonna like. I'll wait till the end. All right. So I'll see you guys with whatever happens. All right, guys. We are the last couple phases here of the last turn. So basically, I just retreated back here stood here uh, we took a couple of flamer hits um, on I believe a workhorse um, 41 points damage each um, but other than that they didn't even bother attacking me the, the gunships have been flying around doing a tremendous amount of damage to these guys so the gargoyle has been continuously hit by the uh, dual got the uh, dual cannons here um, stun rhino is taking a bit of damage in the legs not a whole lot as you can see here, he's not even down to half armor on the legs yet. A little bit low below half on that guy, but um, the other thing is is that this Nidhogg gunship has been blasting it, so he's been do doing some damage. Um, and these mechs have been kind of chasing these Nidhoggs around in the stealth bomber, trying to do damage to them. So n no attack on the base, no nothing. Um, it's kind of sad, but I thought here at the very, very end what we would do is see if we can knock one of these guys down so we're going to apply all of our all of our attacks to this guy right here this report me he's taking a couple of hits this turn um, from uh, one of the turrets here from the howitzer turret I think fired at him so we're just going to fire everything we can at him see if we can just knock him down before the end of the turn this is the last turn like I said so everybody's gone it's just our uh, our mechs that haven't gone yet so we'll just move forward and take a shot at them. Now, I, I like I said, I didn't uh, I didn't bother going targeting any of these guys. Oh, the only thing oh crap, we can't hit this guy. Uh, the only thing I did do is I, I finished off all of my uh, um, LRM minefields um, just to see if how much damage we could do the, to the stone rhino, and it wasn't a lot. So I don't know. I'm not. Uh, convinced that this is uh, the right way to go um, let's go with LRM dead fire we can take the heat this guy is gonna be like it's like no heat right there's barely any stability damage um, but yeah, like, I don't know. Let's fire on him. So I don't know if the incendiary or the uh, the thunder ammo is the way to go. Wow, that guy can really take a beating. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it was a stone rhino, so I mean, wasn't expecting that much. But against, you know, medium range max and maybe even vehicles, it could be uh, perhaps a lot better. All right, 13 damage each, not bad. I'd be interesting to see how long it would take you to take one of these things down. As long as you had good AMS and could continuously shoot down the missiles, which is what the helicopter has been doing, and you're only taking 41 damage from each of the flamers, you might have a chance to pull one of these guys down, but I mean, look at... like nothing, right? We haven't even got a chance to knock him down, that's the thing, like... look at this. We're barely into the second bar and everybody shot him. Like, even with Ultra 20s and stuff, I... I the stability, like, how are you going to take this guy down? You just can't do it. It would be an interesting fight, though, like, report to Discord. I can't do that, because, like I said, I'm playing on an earlier version, so. What? 
Oh, you dumb! <laughs> okay, we got six left. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you shot your own base. Thank God you only took down one. Oh, my God. What was I saying? Before I was so rudely interrupted by her destroying a base. Or uh, one of our buildings. Uh, it'd be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I can't report it to Discord because I'm playing on an earlier version. So I don't know if these guys have been cleaned. There's the final. All right. Let's see what we get out of this sucker. Okay, contract payment increased by 30%. Uh, we didn't get this one though, but no big deal. 308,000. That should easily cover our repairs, which isn't too bad. I mean, we took a little bit of damage here, but not a lot. Grand Summoner lost something though. What was another heat sink? All right. Wow, three supernova parts. ATM 12s, which would be really nice. Uh, ER large, a couple PPCs, laser AMS clan. We have any of these left? I think we used them all. Yeah, we used them all. We had four and we used them all. We used all of them there. Lots of clan LRMs. Streak sixes, meh. Some of these would be nice. Uh, we'll roll for those. We got enough C bills right now for the end of the month. Regular heat sinks. What the hell is running with regular heat sinks? Maybe one of the vehicles? It's a lot of heat sinks, man. Jade Talons. Assault jump jets, clan sensors, ammo. Alright. Um, supernova parts. We worked hard for it. Let's just grab it, see what it is. Uh, if it's an Omni, great. If it's not, then I'll scrap it and sell it. I know it's a not. Well, I don't think it's an Omni. It's got six laser and five missile hard points. Yeah. We want the dire wolf part. Now let's just take this. Okay, let's see what we got. We got the dire wolf part. Beautiful. That's awesome. Strike two. Uh, ATM six, ER large, couple of LRMs, which is nice. That core, which is nice. Watchdog and ammo. Eh, well, it could have been better, but it's not too bad. All right, there it is. 126,000. Not too bad, I guess. Could have been way worse. If those if they those mechs decided to push that base could have been a different fight but it wasn't unfortunately I was really hoping for something really more uh, grandiose there with uh, eight mechs on the ground but you know it is what it is I'll manage this task a little later make sure everything gets done quickly um, are we we're like one day away to the oh, 16 days okay so we got more time here before the financial report to uh, uh, get some stuff let's have a quick look at that mech though Make a quick decision on it. Uh, Supernova, here we go. Let's ready this guy. Alright. Now, I don't have the C-bills in any way to get this thing up and running. I don't even have stuff I can sell for this. Let's have a look, though. Looks like it does have clan stuff on it. Is it a clan second line mech? So if we repair this, no, it's not an Omni mech, unfortunately. And I don't have the C bills to get this thing up and running. 11 days, we need a core, XL engine. Well, there you go. Four point two million. That's before anything else. Ah oh, man. Well, you know what? I'm gonna scrap it because I know we're gonna get some better stuff in the future. 
much as it saddens me to say we'll scrap I mean it's kind of a nice loadout lots of laser and missile uh, hard points which is what I normally go for but uh, let's just scrap this out of here 1.14 million we'll take that lots of good stuff coming up guys I'm not worried about losing that in any any stretch of the imagination we we, we needed the sea bills for that too so um, just in case the next mission gets us in between a rock and a hard place for sea bills but I think we're going to take something maybe up, up around the five skull range next time we'll see I don't know I'm not convinced yet that we can do that but we'll see what we can do all right but I'm going to end the episode here guys once again I apologize it wasn't more exciting but uh, you know hopefully next time all right so if you like the video drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later